Retired and disabled Americans are bracing themselves. For the third year in a row, people on Social Security will not get a cost of living increase. Now, the government says they should get a raise next year, but Eric Schultz tells us for some, that's not soon enough. Meal planning is different now for Sydney and Lorreen MacArthur. They shop for food with a close eye on bargains. Prices are going up, even though their income from Social Security is not. It was kind of disappointing because... Uh, uh, the whole time you thought, well, when I, when I retire, I'll be able to travel, uh, do things with my grandkids. These are the grandkids. Sydney and Lorene still go to Illinois to visit them, but some vacations with them have been canceled. People on Social Security, like Sydney, have gone two years without a cost of living increase. That's because the government's measuring stick for inflation shows prices are going down. Sydney doesn't understand why real estate is figured into the government's cost of living index. He says most seniors he knows aren't trying to sell their homes or buy homes. But prices are going up for things Sydney does need to buy, like a crown for his tooth. The law prevents Sydney's Medicare premiums from going up when his Social Security is flat, but Medicare doesn't cover his dental needs. And his last appointment gave him sticker shock. It's going to cost me a. Uh... Fourteen, thirteen hundred dollars to get a crown, and the last one I got was a thousand. And I said, "Well, uh, it went up three hundred bucks. I can't afford it. I'll just uh, do it out the crown." He's also doing without a new car. He's got a hundred eighteen thousand miles on this Buick, and he's going to try and get a lot more. It's all part of life with flat payments from Social Security, even though the cost of living life is going up. Eric Schultz, NBC Action News. About 45 million Americans receive both Medicare and Social Security.